I'm Guang Gong, a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. I'm also a member of Cybersecurity and the Privacy Institute. First is the signal design and the physical layer security. And the second will be the lightweight cryptography, lightweight post-quantum graphy with application in IOT. And the third area will be the blockchain privacy, privacy preserving machine learning, like those federal data learning systems for mobile devices. A blockchain system is a decentralized ledger system. Centralized system cannot provide decentralized finance decentralized identity management, uh, supply chain management, uh, healthcare. Basically, I believe for the future healthcare systems, uh, most important is how to you share the data. Single centralized system cannot fulfill this purpose. So I believe decentralized provide another landscape for this type of the privacy and the security. Just decentralize the system cannot provide this. Also, you should have the consensus protocols. All node in your network has to agree on the state of the network. But this is, depends on how you implement this consensus protocol. Then they also affect the security and the privacy levels. So usually we talking about post-quantum cryptography. Basically, we aim uh, to those cryptographic algorithms which are quantum resistance, which means you cannot attack those cryptographic algorithms by quantum computer. First category is some hard problem based, which is also hard for the quantum computer. So like analytics based, coding based, isology based, or multivariate based. And the second class is hash function based or zero knowledge proof based. For the zero knowledge proof based, basically only depends on the hash function operation and the polynomial operation. So that's why at least I think we can make it lightweight. From the perspective of the testing of the post-quantum uh, cryptographic algorithm, the security, first thing is you have to theoretically guarantee their securities. So I believe this is a very important step. Similarly, as a development of our current public key cryptography, you can imagine maybe 50 years ago what looks like ECC, RAC, Diffie here. If you are the designer of the system, then you want to design a secure system. I believe first step, then you need to properly implement those crypto graphic protection mechanisms. If you are the user, you have to realize what currently the, in the cyberspace attacker's behavior, for example, like the email phishing. So those is for users. But I believe for the designers, currently, for example, all attacks basically the implementation of your system, not correctly implemented.